بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ایوری ون ایز یو نو دیٹ دا نیو بک آف فور کلاس نائن ہیو بین پبلش اینڈ ہیو ریچ ٹو یو سو فرام نیو انگلش بک وی آر گوئنگ ٹو کور فیو ادر ٹاپکس رائٹ سو لیٹ سی وچ ٹاپک وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ایکسپلور ان دس لیکچر سو ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو کور یونٹ نمبر فائیو اینڈ دا نیم آف دا یونٹ از ہیلدی لائف اسٹائل From this 5.3 language practice portion, we are going to do simple and compound sentences. You would know what, what are the simple sentences and how do they change into compound sentences, right? Well, so in this unit, we would cover simple and compound sentences. So what are the simple sentences? Simple sentences are the one which has one subject and one predicate. It means the information has been given about the subject for example she is a hard working girl she is a subject and hard working girl is a pred predicate which gives information about the subject for example my mother is a good cook so my mother is a subject is a good cook is a predicate what happens in a compound sentence here the two clauses of a sentence are joined together by a comma or by a conjunction right so conjunctions are the ones which connect the two clauses of the sentences and they both are the independent clauses so they are usually compound with the help of and but for because or nor etc for example my mother is a good cook but she cannot stitch well right Now you see exercise number one. Here in this exercise, a table is given, and against each sentences you have to put uh, tick mark that identifies whether it is a simple or a compound sentence. So see number one. This year has started on a positive positive note for the students. So it's a simple sentence because only about a subject predicate is given. See number two. This classroom smell of fresh. paint as they were painted during the holidays so these are the two independent clauses and they are joined by the word as so this is a compound sentence see number 3 the students love the newly painted classroom and they like the newly polished desk again and is joining the sentence so it is again a compound sentence see number 4 their motivation has increased and their enthusiasm is clearly visible again both independent clauses are joined by and so is a compound sentence see number 5 most of the students come to school regularly now now this is a simple sentence because there is one sub uh, subject and one predicate see number 6 they actively participate in various class activities again it is a simple sentence See the next one the students enjoy being outdoors because they all like sports activities now because is a conjunction and is joining the two clauses so it's a compound sentence see the next one they are happy with the new look of the school but they are not happy with the sports uh, uh, facilities that they have okay so but is joining the sentence so it's a compound sentence see number 9 they have requested they are possible for better sports and game facilities it's a simple sentence because it has one subject and one predicate see the next one the students are hopeful that they will have good facilities soon because their principal has promised that new play playgrounds will be developed so the sentence is joined by because and both are the independent clauses so it is a compound sentence right Exercise three. Here you have to work in pairs and write sentences, and you can write five to six sentences in your notebook. Five to six simple sentences. Write about the people or the things. Write. Then do change the same sentences in the compound sentences. Write using any conjunction and relating the sentence with the. sentences you have already made right so you can do this work as a 
practice work and you can do it in any rough copy right home task is being assigned to you you have to do exercise number one in book do mention the date at the time and do exercise number three in your rough copy you can do it as a practice work right thank you